a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi everyone, welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra and today we are talking about best performing actively managed ETFs of 2023 so far. So investors have been pouring a lot of money into actively managed ETFs this year and uh, they are still a small part of the ETF uh, universe. Uh, they account for less than 10% of uh, US listed uh, ETFs total assets, but they gathered more than 20% of net flows this year. And this comes after 14% uh, uh, of total flows in 2022, which went to actively managed ETFs. So one of the reasons is that many investors believe that probably active managers, managers may be able to navigate these challenging and uncertain market conditions. And um, in fact, last year, some active ETFs like uh, PFIX and DPMF, uh, which we have discussed in our ETF videos last year. Uh, they provide exposure to very specialized strategies. They had managed to outperform uh, the broader indexes significantly in 2022. And, uh, but overall, active ETFs uh, continue to underperform their passive, passively managed uh, counterparts and according to S&P indices active report which is known as uh, popularly known as SPIVA uh, they reported that last year 51 percent of funds in the U.S. large cap stock space underperformed the benchmark now this is the most popular sector space, uh, the, the most popular category. And uh, in certain categories like small cap value and small cap core, active managers, so more than 50% of active managers were able to beat their uh, benchmark. So this was the best underperformance since 2009, according to SPIVA. And uh, we know that uh, investors prefer ETFs now because of their tax efficiency, transparency, and usually they come with lower cost as well. They, so investors prefer the ETF wrapper. And we have seen massive outflows out of mutual funds, actively managed mutual funds in particular, and into ETFs over the past decade or so. So be because of investors' preference for this wrapper, Many fund giants are now launching active ETFs that are managed by their best uh, managers, uh, by their star managers. Uh, and uh, uh, these fund giants include BlackRock, PIMCO, Fra Franklin Templeton, and D. Rowe Price that have launched these ETFs in recent weeks. Now let's take a look at the best performing active ETFs of uh, 2023 so far. So this uh, small Bitcoin miners ETF by Valkari, the ticker symbol is WGMI. It is the best performing of all ETFs year to date uh, and we don't take into account uh, leverage and inverse ETFs uh, because that's a separate category altogether and they should be used only as trading tools. So this uh, tiny ETF is up about 245% year to date. And we know that Bitcoin has rebounded more than 80% in 2023. And lately it rebounded because of hopes for a spot Bitcoin ETF. Uh, so WGMI charges, uh, about, charges 75 basis points and it now has 20 million in assets and it has uh, almost doubled in 2023, gathered 10 million this year so far. Let's take a look at the CTF by going to the code page on 
www.zax.com and you can use the link to go to WGMI web page, Valkyrie's web page for this ETF. See what it was. AMD, which has done quite well, is a top holding. And then you see other blockchain minor companies. Okay. The second ETF I'm highlighting is also a relatively small ETF. Uh, it is by social media financial influence influencer Kevin Pavroth. Uh, the beat Kevin pricing power ETF ticker symbol is PP. And as the name suggests, it invests in companies with pricing power, according to Kevin. And uh, I showed out that uh, the Wall Street Journal had pointed out that Kevin had uh, promoted uh, the failed FTX uh, exchange uh, and for which he was paid. Uh, so this ETF is uh, up more than 50% year to date and that's thanks mainly to its large exposure to Tesla. And uh, this has 39 million in assets now, more than doubled, almost doubled in 2023. This is also a new ETF uh, launched last year like WGMI. Express ratio is 77 basis points. So again, let's go back to the code page on zax.com for this ETF. And we can use the link to go to the web page. Uh, you can listen to Kevin and see what it holds currently. Uh, so currently it has about 19% exposure to Tesla and I saw that earlier it had more than a quarter uh, of its assets invested in Tesla and it benefited from that. Apple, Nvidia, ASML are among other top holdings in this ETF. Now there are two more uh, actively managed ETFs. Uh, uh, very small with less than 10 million in assets, uh, but have done quite well this year. Um, SPRX by Sphere up more than 51% and Volt Robocar Disruption and Tech ETA by Simplify VCAR. Uh, both benefited from their exposure to NVIDIA and Tesla or both and other, uh, other star performing stocks this year. Then uh, Kathy Wood's Next Generation Internet ETF ARKW that has also done very well this year and as the name suggests it invests in companies that will benefit from Next Generation Internet according to ARK has 88 basis points expense ratio. This has 1.4 billion in assets and despite its excellent performance, it has actually lost assets this year. And that is generally the trend with most of Kathy Wood's ETFs. Uh, so ARC gathered billions in inflows uh, in 2020 and early 2021 uh, because they were major beneficiaries of uh, the pandemic. But uh, the ETF started underperforming and uh, last year, most of her uh, ETFs delivered terrible performance, uh, so investors have become cautious. So anyway, let's go to the code page and take a look at this ETF. Uh, and uh, yes, let's go to the web page. So this invests in companies uh, uh, which are benefiting from the shift to cloud and other services, uh, shared technology, infrastructure, internet-based product, big data, internet of things, etc. And uh, if we see what it holds, Coinbase, which has done quite well this year due to uh, Bitcoin's rebound, and I also hope for a Bitcoin ETF, a spot Bitcoin ETF, GBTC, uh, and then Roku, Tesla, Zoom Video, these are the top holdings in this ETF. Then we take a look at uh, this ETF. It is a non-transparent ETF. So unlike most other ETFs that disclose their 
holdings on a daily basis. This is these non-transparent ETF uh, ETFs are not required to disclose their uh, holdings on a daily basis. Uh, this invests in global growth stocks and is up more than forty percent year to date. That this is the cheapest of all the ones that we discussed uh, today. Uh, Fifty-nine basis points. Uh, 652 million in assets and this has actually gathered uh, almost 100 million in 2023 let's take a look at this etf and what it is currently holding so if you go to the web page uh, you will see that it has exposure to all the uh, mega cap tech stocks that have done so well this year so apple microsoft nvidia amazon and Google also meta. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out zax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. Also make sure to subscribe to our, all our videos, our video channel so that you do not miss anything. And I'll see you next week.